What's going on, Reef Builders? I'm Jake Adams. Welcome back to another video. This time, we're in Orlando, and can you believe we finally get to go to a nice, large, fully fleshed out reef aquarium event. So I'm here for Reef Palooza, and uh, just feels so good to do some coral shopping, check out some new reef gear, and most of all, spend some time with our good friends in the hobby and the industry. So um, I spent most of yesterday walking the show, buying some corals, uh, taking clips of some of the nicer corals that really caught my attention. So I'm going to pepper those in the video. Um, but in the meantime, we're going to walk around check out a few booths. And I definitely want to spotlight some of the newer reef gear that's coming to the Reef Aquarium hobby uh, this year. So thanks for joining me on this video tour of uh, Reef Palooza Orlando. Let's get started. I want to bring to your attention is a handful of thoughtful accessories from Julian Sprung's Two Little Fishies. So I've always said that most of these media reactors are probably way too large for most folks, right? You're not going to fill this up with carbon. You're not going to fill this up with uh, granular ferric oxide. And uh, you must have a giant tank if you're going to fill this up with bio pellets. So Julian's put together a nice small little reactor which is definitely a much more reasonable size i really like the idea of being able to daisy chain these and just taking up so much less room in your sump or hanging off of your aquarium so this is a little reactor it's basically all the same features as a typical phosphan reactor but he's got a new kit here called the npx adapter that has kind of a swirly base here so you can get a lot more dynamic water motion inside your either full-size Fosban reactor or the new little reactor and it's going to come with a extra stem right there to mate up with it and then uh, finally Julian's got some awesome awesome like very very rigid uh, steel scraper blades um, what's this one called this is the algae eraser now you've probably seen blades that look like this but I'm telling you this thing is completely completely inflexible so he made two sizes these don't have the uh, scraper part on them yet um, so super rigid you're gonna be able to put like a, a steel blade right here there might be even like a plastic blade or some kind of credit card um, in typical julian fashion we have no idea <laughs> when these are going to be available how much they're going to cost but it should help out help flesh out the two little fishies catalog pretty well all right so one little cool accessory that we didn't expect to find is um, what do you call this thing it's called the Salinity Probe Stability Kit, or SPS Kit. SPS Kit. So this stabilizes the salinity probes, or conductivity probes, um, basically by enclosing the active end of your conductivity uh, sensor, your meter, into this little enclosure. You drive a little bit of water here through a manifold or a tiny little pump. So this creates a very stable, static pressure moving uh, continuously and gradually around the conductivity probe. So it's not gonna make it more accurate, but it'll make it more precise, right? right. It's gonna bring it, down those readings. And here you can show me the graph. So what? this is a little graphic we have here. This is on our test tank where we have, we have a, like a micro bubble tank that we're sticking this probe into. And this is the uh, this is the trend line without the SPS kit. <laughs> this is the trend line. Man, if SPS a picture kit. is worth a thousand words, that's it right there. So for just under thirty dollars, you can get uh, this uh, SPS kit for your conductivity probe, and should make uh, all that bouncing around from the readings a lot more manageable.
right, so by far one of the biggest releases here at Reef Palooza Orlando is the brand new Sky LED light from Neptune Systems. Um, this company has really been fleshing out their entire ecosystem and now they have a major new quiver in their reef aquarium uh, toolbox. So this is a really interesting light. It has a larger footprint than uh, some other fixtures, uh, really to get that distribution um, and a really flat, even light field over the entire aquarium. You can see that it has a, a very natural spectrum. I believe it's at full intensity now. And um, one of the things I really am excited about, I know, I know that sounds crazy. Jake's excited about some Neptune stuff, but it's the interplay of the PAR sensor. So there's a PAR sensor here in the corner um, connected to the Apex software. And you can see here that it's giving in the corner a PAR reading of 201 micromoles per meter squared per second. So um, over different periods of time, having the sensor in the middle, it'll be able to measure the, the, the daily light integral of exactly how much light your tank is getting. So not just the PAR number, not the, the static PAR value of your aquarium, um, but that's gonna be a really interesting feature for some more aquariums. I think it's gonna be a lot more informative to get that daily light integral of how much uh, this light is illuminating your aquarium. So you can see this has really nice, beautiful uh, color spectrum on the entire tank. I think they've also implemented a photo mode, but this is at full intensity. Um, so just to give you a quick roundup, if you haven't seen the press release, it's a 200 watt light. It's got 100 LEDs distributed all throughout. And the reason you can't see them here in the video is because there's a diffuser panel underneath that helps to spread out the light over the, what is this, a three foot wide tank? Yeah, I think it's about three foot by six foot. Three fixtures are lighting up the entire aquarium. It's actually looks really good, nice and natural. Now, I do like my shimmer. I really like my uh, dramatic appearance, my dramatic shadows, but this is a very, very flat light field. It almost looks like T5, and I uh, bet you could uh, stump a lot of people on whether this was running LEDs or T5. So they've definitely carved out a very specific approach to reef aquarium lighting. It's gonna be 869 when it launches in about six to eight weeks. You don't have to use an Apex, but uh, more than ever, I think we're gonna see some interesting benefits of having this connected to the PAR sensor that you can see here in the corner. So here's a really unexpected surprise from Aquarium Systems and Marineland. This is a brand new all-in-one from Marineland. It's called, I think it's called the Exhibit View, and it comes in three sizes. This is an all-in-one aquarium. It comes with the stand, We've got the aquarium on top. We've got this really nice, tight-fitting glass lid along the entire thing. So you don't even need uh, to worry about an auto top off because your evaporation rate is gonna be super low. And if you wanna get into the tank, you just slide back the lid here and you can feed your corals, work on some stuff um, to a point. Um, they have a brand new light. It's not gonna be, you know, it's not gonna be breaking any records, but it has uh, three colors, red, white, and blue. This is one of the stronger models here um, that comes with the Exhibit View Aquarium. There's a controller here that actually has Wi-Fi connectivity. So you'll be able to uh, tune and program the light uh, like you want. And then right back here, there's a you know pretty sizable filtration section. Also comes with the heater, but there's a lot of room in here. Comes with the right size cartridges. Let me uh, open that up right here. Comes with the right size cartridge. I think there's an add-on by wheel you can put in here. I think most people will opt to use a protein skimmer and a built-in pump. So this is you know this is a pretty good uncramped. A filter section here in the back of this exhibit view aquarium. I think this is one of the larger ones. I believe it's 29 or 25 gallons, about 600 bucks. So this would be a really, really awesome starter kit for people who just want to get started in the saltwater aquarium. I think I want to try one out and put up a little concept aquarium. I've really wanted to set up a tank with kind of a, a more basic LED light just to show people what is possible um, with this, uh, you know, entry level setup. So this is the exhibit view aquarium from Marineland. Cool, one of the products I've been looking forward to seeing in person for a while is the brand new Sentia Dose dosing pump setup 
from Seachem. So we first got a look at these uh, from Global Pet Expo earlier in 2020, and here they are out in the wild. It's gonna be a complete holistic dosing system. It's gonna come in two parts. You're gonna have your primary doser here that has a little bit of a Wi-Fi signal right here. So this is gonna communicate uh, through your local router to do all the dosing, controlling, and programming. And then there's gonna be a secondary unit um, that does not have the wireless controls, but they snap together just like this with some uh, pins right here for communication and for power. I really like the styling of them. There's gonna be a, also a bracket so you can mount these um, a lot of different ways, mount them together. Um, these are gonna have all the dosing features that you come to expect from a regular dosing pump. I think the primary doser is gonna be around 150 or less, and uh, CCAM is aiming for 99 on the Sentia dose. Um, so it's gonna have a fully fledged app as well, as you can see here on the phone. This is really gonna be the linchpin of how well these particular pumps work. But obviously, right when it launches, it's gonna be you know, probably a little bit more simplified, and over time, um, hopefully add a lot more features. So this is a Sentia dose from Seachem, looking to ship in about six to eight weeks, so probably looking somewhere in the middle of summer. And um, these colored uh, tabs right here are useful for color coding the different things that you're gonna have uh, in your aquarium. You can also uh, program the light on top to match, and I think there's some clips and stuff um, to help keep track of the tubing that you use in your sump. So really excited to see these when they come out. The Sentia Dose from Seachem. So another creative thing uh, I've spotted here at Reefalooza Orlando is these new trees of rock from Carib Sea. They've got two different models, but as you can see, there's a large kind of heavier base with each of these rocks being drilled to support a rod, a supporting rod, and then there's like a capstone for each one. It comes in two styles. Uh, the coral tree comes with the base, a couple shelves, and then a few spacer rocks. Then over here, we have the reef tree, which is a little bit more uh, dynamic. Um, again, has the base, but it's a little bit more, um, leans in more to the arches. And this one also has an extension kit with a couple extra rocks, uh, extra stones. Um, so I think there'll be a lot of different ways that you can lock these rocks together. Um, they're a little bit darker purple, so it's gonna have a little bit of a ready-made look to them when you put them in your reef tank. You don't have to wait for the core line. And uh, it's gonna have all the same benefits of live rock, so super porous, impregnated with bacteria, nice purple coloration. The uh, reef tree is gonna be 219. That one has an extension, so it's a little bit bigger. And then the coral tree is gonna be 239, um, and it's got a little bit more of that shelf look. So really interesting, uh, creative aquascaping tools from the Carib Sea. So we're in the Geo's Reef booth here at Reef Palooza Orlando, and I'm really enjoying some of the, the tweaks and upgrades and updates to their new calcium reactor line. As you know, the Reef Builder Studio is all white with blue accents. So these things look like they were custom made to be used and enjoyed at the Reef Builder Studio. So um, one of the biggest new upgrades is the inclusion of these uh, platinum blue DC plumps um, that I wrote about not too long Long ago. These are uh, controllable, but they're really quiet, really efficient. I think they're gonna be a really durable option. I love the integrated air uh, 
uh, bubble counter, uh, CO2 bubble counter here right before the pump. And it just looks like a really, really clean layout. As you can see, um, the plumbing is thoughtfully put together. I love the use of uh, 45s, you know, and get some angle here um, to really just get that water where you need it. Some uniseal, so this is gonna be a more durable option than a hard plumbed connection. Here you can see the 45 used on a, a taller model. So I am going to need a new calcium reactor here pretty soon at the refilter studio because my uh, corals are is sucking up the calcium and alkalinity faster than I can keep up with it with Calquaster and a lot of dosing. So definitely in the market for a new calcium reactor. I think these new versions from Geo are gonna be the ticket. I just, cosmetically, man, I really love the way they look and I'm really glad they're using this very tough, durable uh, recirculation pump. So this is the uh, new calcium reactor tweaks and designs from Geo's Reef. Small update to the Brightwell uh, line of pre-made foods is they have this new Ultra Planktos, Micro Planktos, and Ultra Planktos P. Um, these are interesting because the food's inside, but they're also fortified with amino acids. This is gonna be a fun new addition for feeding your aquariums. I've always loved how they really separate their food particle range sizes, or here we have one to 50 microns, five to 50 microns, and then 50 to 2,000 microns. Uh, really interesting new food from Brightwell, um, fortified with amino acids. And something that's been happening in the planted world, and I've already started using my reef additives, is they're starting to uh, offer some of these bottles, or maybe just like the pump, uh, section uh, separately so you can more easily dose smaller amounts of trace elements on your freshwater tank but hopefully we see this trickle in uh, down to the food but either way I believe these uh, these uh, pump bottle sockets I guess you could call them these screw tops will be able to fit all of their bottles so uh, a couple new things from Brightwell Aquatics. All right, so the last company I want to tell you guys about is Reef Pro so this is the founder Gilbert Fernandez all right, I made sure I got that name right. And uh, you know there's a lot of additives on the reef aquarium market, so, so, so many. But what I really like about what Gilbert is doing is that he's a reef aquarist first. So he grows a lot of his own corals, mostly as a demonstration to show people what is possible with Reef Pro. So he's really a hobbyist at heart, and he's got good reasons why he recreated a lot of additives that are available on the market. Um, probably the most compelling one is gonna be a nice, a complete two-part solution it's called Reef Pro A, Reef Pro B. So this is a calcium full line of trace elements all inside. This is your buffer. It's going to raise your alkalinity and it's got some halogens inside like uh, iodine and fluoride. Um, he's got a small particle food here, uh, the Reef Pro A for SPS and a larger particle food called Reef Pro B for LPS. And then for reducing nutrients, he's got a carbon source called Reef Pro Bio X. And you know, these are not me too products. This is not just a guy who's bottling some, some additives and trying to sling on the market and say they're best things for sliced bread, but he's got some really good reasons why he made his own. So um, I've started using a little bit of the Reef Pro on some of my tanks. You know, if, if you're using a two-part solution already, it's, it's not going to, you know, dramatically change anything, but I think the whole line of uh, uh, trace elements inside is going to be really good for achieving these coral colors that he grows in his own tanks um, at his shop, the Reef Pro store so uh, really interesting too is that these come fully mixed we've seen some companies start shipping these um, maybe like a third full or half full and they are not able to get the full concentration so these are about as concentrated as you can get full bottle set i think is going to cost you about 55 i think that's right uh, for the two bottles for one gallon um, but yeah it's just nice to see kind of a, a startup a little um, homegrown uh, additive line here in Florida. So definitely check out Reef Pro if you're looking at a uh, uh, chemical additive line to use on your aquarium because he'll be happy to answer any of your questions on how these products affect a wide range of corals in your home aquarium.
I can't tell you guys how good it feels to be back at a reef aquarium conference here in Orlando for Reef Palooza. It was so much fun to finally spend some time with my wider reef aquarium family, see some new gear, check out a lot of super fun uh, corals. I, I said I wasn't going to get any, but obviously I can't help myself. I'm always going to find some uh, special corals. So definitely if you get a chance to go to a reef palooza um, in your area, I think it's going to be coming up in New York and in Chicago later on this year. Uh, make sure to check that out. I hope you guys enjoyed this walkthrough of uh, Reef Palooza. There's so much more to see than I can bring to you in one single video. So um, definitely check the web for some other tours of uh, Reef Palooza. There's a lot to see here. Uh, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you have any questions. Pop those down below. I'll do my best to answer them. And uh, thanks for joining me in this video, and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Bye, guys.